slides here, and I'm with two short, well, short circuits from UKZN. What's UKZN? Uh, it stands acronym for University of Kuzum Town. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, what got you involved in the competition? Um, it was mainly our mentor that uh, pitched up one day during one of our classes and said, hey, this is a thing that's happening, you know, it's not something that's right now. So it would be nice if you know, get people involved. Yeah. yeah. So, have any of you had much experience with this kind of thing before? No, I'm not so many. None whatsoever. That's about right. Everybody else is kind of in the same boat. Uh, so what's your name? What do you do for the team? Uh, my name is Shaheen Peku. I am one of the software guys on the team. I am a software installation. Okay. What about this guy? I'm Justin. I'm also part of the software team. We split ourselves. Ah. Okay. Okay. I'm a hard job lab. Uh, I have choose some of the hardware that we use today. Okay. I'm Andre van der Holt. I also uh, took in the hardware selection. You look like a hardware guy. You look like a hardware guy. You just have that gleam in your eye. <laughs> and you're looking at metal. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's fun to work with hardware. It's something tangible. So, three nodes, no switch, right? Yeah. Okay. How how that choice work out? Are you happy with that? Yeah, I think the thing is we knew that we were going to have to go with less nodes than we would ideally want because I mean ideally you wouldn't have a budget and you could just go with as many nodes as you wanted but since we were so heavily constrained with the budget having to add another node would require a switch would meant that all of the nodes would have to be less powered so with the three nodes that we have now we went with the ring topology so every node is connected to every other node and we were able to dump much of the budget that we would have spent on a switch and uh, interconnecting cables uh, into RAM upgrades and CPU upgrades whenever possible. I say done. How are things going from a software standpoint? Things have been a bit shaky at the beginning, but once we've got, well, we've encountered most of the issues that one would encounter, and we will come soon. So things have been going pretty smoothly in the sense. When do you have to turn in results? Um, results are on an ongoing basis. As things get completed, you will hand in your results and get next tasks. So as so to speak, uh, but without, with, uh, without the restriction that you cannot come back and improve your results. Okay. So what have you run so far? Um, so far we've just been setting up and making sure that everything is running smoothly before we actually hand in results for the system, just to make sure that there's no errors happening. So we have a constraint that once our benchmarks start, we aren't allowed to reboot the system. Uh, yeah. When do the benchmarks start? Tomorrow? No, they actually started today. Started today? Started today. Okay. We are allowed to start. Okay. And you're doing HPL, HPCC, and HPCG? Yeah, that's the first three benchmarks that we okay. required. Well, good luck on that. Good luck. Thank you. And thank you for taking the time, and I uh, hope we see you in Germany. Okay. Talk to you soon. Thank you, Okay, short circuits. Yes. What's going on? Um, we've run into some troubles with our compiler. No. So we're pushing through that. Good. As best as we can. We were here until 5 o'clock this morning. So oh. Yeah, we're, we're going, trying to push through. But we're tired today? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 5 a.m., huh? Yeah, so there's not much I can give in, in the way of an update. We still not a lot, no. Since we benchmark, so. Okay. Well, thank you for that little bit, and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.